guys, uh, welcome back to a uh, Perfect Life channel, a uh, Perfect Life podcast, your podcaster's favorite podcast. So if you're joining us here for the first time, hello and welcome. Please, please, please join the family by subscribing, turn on the bell notification on, make sure you leave it thumbs up, comment, and yeah, join the family. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so Today, this video has been sponsored by Habibi and Habib Tea Fragrances. So this is in a fragrance business that mainly does oils, uh, perfumes that are Arabic. Uh, you can find this shop uh, in Footbridge Mall, uh, opposite Joyner City, Table C53. Please, once you get there, if you buy anything, make sure you tag them on Instagram. Uh, and yeah, they'll be running a promotion, I think, very soon for Valentine's. So thank you so much. And in case you, 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 you've already patronized the business, make sure you leave a comment down below. Anyways, uh, today I have a special mm. guest Special. with me <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, uh, I have the privilege to have a chat with uh, Tafara uh, so Tafara welcome on the channel thank uh, you so much yeah thank you so mm. much for creating time out of your busy schedule to come and just have a conversation here you know from the time that you started your podcast I have, I've always wanted to join in so it's my pleasure to be here actually Oh, thank you so much and mm. thank you for supporting. Yeah. yeah, so I'm sure right now the the audience like what's going on? We want to know what is this video all about. So for now I'm going to let Tafar introduce himself uh so that you kind of like have an idea of what he really is all about and then later on we'll dive we'll dive deeper into his like business and stuff that's what we're going to be talking about today so over to you we want to know you Me. who is this guy ah. yeah okay the guy yeah <laughs> my name is Tafara Mukadziwa yeah and um I'm an electrical engineer, but I'm working as a technician here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. But then I also am a part-time barber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I would say so. I think that's, that's it. Uh, Relationship what, what? status, at least. Um, it's <laughs> it's, it's uh, okay, single. <laughs> you Are <know>? you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Mm. Okay. So sing away from Zimbabwe. I'm from Harare. Harare. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay. So the thing that I want to talk to you about first is you said you're an electrical engineer, mm. right? Engineer. Yeah. But here you're a, you are a technician. Technician. Can you at least highlight that? Like how has that been for you? Like, you know, trying to do something that is not really something that you started mm. or something that you want to do because mm. you know how it is like i want you to like highlight that part especially for people who are back home who mm. don't really understand mm. like if you are a doctor or oh, you have to be a doctor right mm. in a perfect world yeah if you are a mechanic you have to be a mechanic mm. so can you try to highlight you, that you know how it is here in dubai when when you move out of your own like comfort mm -hmm. you know zimbabwe mm -hmm. And then people, especially when I came here, I, I actually expected I would come and work as an electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. I'd get my own apartment, yes. you know, I'd get that bands and stuff yes. like that. But, you know, when you come to Dubai, what I've realized, you need to get what you can. Because mm -hmm. uh, most people, they come as doctors, but they can work as, uh, you know, in restaurants and stuff like that. So I was fortunate enough, I got something that was close to what I did. Mm -hmm. Like I did electrical engineering and automation, but then I'm working as a technician. But um, I actually got some experience, you know, in the part of the electrical stuff and electronics. It's not really what I want, mm -hmm. but it's actually a stepping stone to build my experience, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, because I've seen that, like, you know, when you move to the diaspora, you kind of, like, mm. have to have an open mind. You need to have an open mind. Because if you're stiff-minded, you might spend two years trying to look for something that is, like, literally in your field. And it's 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 always a challenge, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and you have bills, too. Exactly. You have things that you need to, to do. And exactly. Yeah. 
You just need to find your ground mm-hmm. and then from there. So step by step, step, step by, by step. step. Yeah, at least, mm. you know, there's a job. Eh, very soon we'll get to the girlfriend part. Maybe, you know, you get Hopefully. that girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, oh, my God. Okay, so, all right, awesome. So now let's now dive deep part into our conversation. You know, I'm sure people now want to know, okay, you are a, a technician. Okay, so when did you decide to do this Baba thing? Like, is it new? Was it something that you learned later on in life? Like, can you highlight more on that? Yeah, it's always a story that I, I, <laughs> I'm always eager to tell. Yes. Because it actually goes way back when I was like um, a kid, when we were in primary school and stuff like really? that. Really? I didn't know. Oh, Yeah. Oh, because wow. I have a sister who is like, um, we always talk about this. She is one year, 11 months older than me. Okay. So before we went to school, we would just grab a machine, mm-hmm. just cut each other roughly, you know, just to look presentable in school. You know, in Zimbabwe, they don't want you to have your big hair. Right. But whatever cut you have, it's okay, right? Yeah. So that's how I just got the feel of the machine. And um, I would say I'm, I'm good with my hands. Most of the things that I do, I, I think I can learn quickly. Hmm, so, that phrase is very... You. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the skills part, <laughs> okay. I'm good. <laughs> I, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to, you know, make... Yeah, you know. I, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, fast forward to um, when I went to college, mm-hmm. um, I was in China. So there people cannot cut black people's hair. Mm-hmm. People will get messed up. And so I'll just look on YouTube how to cut, how to fade, how to what, what. Mm-hmm. So one day my friend, he was actually my roommate. Yeah. He comes to me, he says, bro, I've been, you know, can you just do something, anything that you can do because these guys are worse. Mm-hmm. And then I cut his hair. He was actually surprised. And then when he went out, uh, to, you know, people asking, where'd you get your cut? Where'd you get your cut? Yeah. So from there, I just started getting people coming to my room. Bro, can you cut me? Mm-hmm. And then I realized, oh, why not make money? Yeah. So that's how it, it started. And then I came here to Dubai. I started, um, you know, I'm staying with my sister and her husband. Mm-hmm. And one day I just told him, I, I can do it here. He, he didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when yes. you tell someone that uh, you're an engineer, but you can do it here, okay. Mm-hmm. So I did his hair. And then I was like, oh, Tsano. Because that's what good. we do. Yeah, you're yeah. actually good. Yeah. So he, from there on, he encouraged me. Um, you can actually cut people here in Dubai as well mm. because it's a struggle for black people as well. Mm-hmm. So they actually went out. They got a machine. This was like um, a personal thing, our own in-house thingy. Oh, that's really they get sweet. Everything and then started cutting them at home, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from there, word of mouth. And then it grew from there. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think fr- from what you're saying, I can see that it's important to to have a supportive circle. It because is. other people will be like, ah, they kind, they'll kind of like look down. On, on, on whatever idea that you might have, you exactly. know, like, why are you wasting time? But the fact that they, they bought that... Um, Into the idea, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. It, it, it's really important, you know, someone who can encourage uh, whatever skill that you have, even if it's small, yeah. you know, someone can tell you, oh, you can do this, oh, just keep doing it, or I can refer you to someone who can pay you for this. Mm-hmm. It actually opens up your mind to say, ah... I can actually do this because a lot of times you have doubt in your mind. Right. Is this something that I want to do? Is it, you know, in our new generation, is it cool enough? Correct. You know, we want Instagrammable things. Exactly. Things that I can post, so I do this, mm. uh, it's cool. Mm. But then at the end of the day, you need to make money. Correct. And if the money is coming and you have the supportive system, then you realize, okay, mm-hmm. let me do this. Okay, so mm. I heard that you started in China, which is something that I didn't know. Um, so did you really feel that like financial help from the business when you were in China? Like, um, Yeah, when I was in China, because I think what made me go to China was uh, I had made that deal with my mother. Okay. I would see my parents with my mother mostly. Because I, I told her, if you just manage to get me to 
to China and pay the initial fees. Mm -hmm. I can I can find ways to make the rest of the money yes. because we are not I don't come from a, like a rich family or something like that. Yeah. So and then yeah, we made a deal. I, I went to China and then when I started doing it, I started realizing okay, I can make money. And part of that money, I would pay rent. I would even contribute to part of my fees. Wow. So it's, yeah, especially when you're in a foreign land where you can charge whatever you want because you are right. the only one who has the skill, right? Yeah. yeah, you can play around with those things. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, just having a conversation. You know, I've known you for a while, but mm. just that we didn't have a conversation about this. I'm kind of seeing that we have, a, I think, a similar experience to a certain extent where like for me too like you know I, I went to start abroad my parents were paying and then at some point my dad uh, lost his job and i was like you know what you don't worry about me mm, i started I bringing students from zimbabwe yes and where was this ukraine oh okay so that's how at some point i paid my school fees so you know i i massive respect it's it's such a big uh burden uh in terms of, you know, like when you're just a student, then you're trying to figure out all these extra ex responsibilities, exactly. and you, you know. you have friends that have, you know, money that is coming in from home. Exactly. They don't worry about anything. Yeah. And you are there like, oh, my when God. Where am I going to get the next Exactly. Yeah. Whew, yeah. So, <laughs> and you know, the good thing is once you, you become that person, because it's not about what you're doing, then the skill can change. But it's about the person that you become. You become a person who can look for money, who can provide for yourself or for other people All when right. the situation needs to, you know, needs you to, to do that. Mm. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed the experience, to so, be honest. in Shona Fenicula, There are always those stories, you know. <laughs> you are, because literally I would, I knew Kuti, Let's say, for example, I charge ten dollars for a cut, yes. twenty dollars. So when I'm taking someone on a date, I know I'm taking them for three haircuts. <laughs> I will have enough money for what? So when it doesn't work out, obviously you're counting your labor. Oh, I just cut these three yeah, people for, for free. free. Yeah, and it doesn't work out. When it works out, you you know, mm -hmm. now it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how many haircuts? Uh, do you do, let me move to Dubai, like roughly per, per week, mm -hmm. knowing that you are busy, you have a full-time job, how do you balance, like how many do you do and like how do you balance that? I'm not trying to calculate your revenue, by the way. <laughs> we can. <laughs> um, yeah, because of the busy schedule, like I have people sometimes, you know, that um, I'll get your question, but then I have people that that can ask you, can you come at two o'clock? I need to go somewhere. Yeah. And I miss out on those because I'm at work. Right. But roughly, I would say maybe sometimes five per day or three per day, sometimes no one, mm -hmm. you know, it depends. Yeah. yeah, that's roughly how it is. Okay, that's, I think that's, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, I think now moving on, I want to ask you, here in Dubai, like what are the challenges that you have faced, that you're facing as a small entrepreneur, like is from your side hustle? Yeah, I think the, the main thing is um, marketing. Okay. How do you market, right? And actually the first thing that I would say is you have people, like when you start, right, you have people that are close within your circle, right? Correct. Those are your customers. But at the same time... If, you, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Yes. Yeah, if you're lucky. Because mm -hmm. they are your friends, and then some are your friends, some are your whatever mates, church mates, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that, you know, an middle ground where you don't know, will I get paid for this one or not? Mm -hmm. Especially when you're starting. Mm -hmm. But how do you ask for your money now? Yeah. But you know what, I wish, I understand where you're coming from, like, you mm. know, you, you in your head are like, this is common sense, I just yeah. gave you a service. Yeah, you hey. need to, you know. You yeah. know, but then some people will be like, yeah, halas, that's it, we are gone, then that's Done. it. That's and it. given a chance, you can mm. do 10 haircuts for free for them, they're okay, you, no problem. Yeah, they're okay. You know, mm. I don't understand why it's like that, especially with our <laughs> communities, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's 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 unfortunate. So that's the challenge that you face. But but uh, surprisingly, there are also like people that are really helpful. They'll pay, of, like they'll pay you like ten times. They'll pay you like ten times. You'd be surprised. Oh, do I really even deserve it? And you know, hats off to people like that. So when are you taking Bruce and I for for a dinner at least? Um, <laughs> because remember, you said in China mm. you were take. For now, you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this was leading to somewhere. <laughs> Well, yeah, we will do it soon. To be honest, uh, in, uh, it's 2024. I just have this new like thing. I need to go out because I was. I, I'm not that person who really like goes out because as soon as I'm done with work, I have an appointment. After the appointment, mm-hmm. I need to go home and sleep. Maybe it's already like 11, 12, 1 a.m. You see, then you sleep for like five, six hours, and then you wake up, you go to work. And now and imagine if you have a relationship, you'd be like, hey, babe, you see? where are you doing? Call me today. See, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. And that's, you definitely need someone who uh, understands your schedule. Hence, sometimes, why, you know, yeah, you have struggled in that part as well. Yeah, cause, but I think as, as long as you communicate, like, hey, babe, today I have three appointments, I can't call really? you, video call you maybe, you know, I'll get home late. I think they will understand. Would you understand if I tell you that every day for from Monday to Sunday, let's say I have the whole week booked, right? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you, hey, babe, you know what? After work, I cannot see you because I have this, this, this and that. And then at 12 o'clock, um, I just, you know, when I got home, I just had dinner and I just fell asleep. I think that's understandable. Like I said, it, I think it starts from the beginning of the relationship. Just, you know, throw your cards right there and say, this is my lifestyle. This is what happens. And I think they will understand. But I think in between, you have to find time, obviously, to talk yeah, to, you have to, you have to, to your person. But that, that, that doesn't uh, that give uh, room for... For them to find someone who will fill in the gap that That's you leave. If, if you don't keep your word, ob- obviously, or you might still <laughs> keep your word and trying your best. Yeah. And if she's just not into you, unfortunately, she, wants that attention, you know. she might mm. still leave. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If someone really just wants to be with you, whether you, you are busy or not busy, they'll always be there for you. I think that's what I want to say. Okay. Whew, relationships, problems, business, problems, everything is just a problem. Anyways, I wanted to say uh, in terms of being, because, you know, sometimes we run businesses, they're successful, but then we don't uh, document everything. We don't record everything. Right now, someone asks you, how much did you make this month? You're like, huh? Because maybe you use the money is as it comes, you it's know, you, going out it's going. Some, yeah. So now maybe you've used it on fuel, you've used it, but you, at the end of the month, you don't really have like a lump sum and say, this came from, from so this. how do you bookkeep every money that you make? I'm actually struggling, to be honest. I, I've tried to open a new bank account mm-hmm. where, where whenever I get a certain money, then I can just transfer it straight there okay. or deposit in that account. Yeah. I've recently tried that this month. But uh, it's been really tough. And also, like you, you said, it, you travel. Before I had a car, mm-hmm. right? Yes. I would do the U-Drive and yeah, sometimes the, the yeah the U-Drive is linked to this bank account, but then you get cash and you don't know how to account for mm. how much was taken from U-Drive and how much do I need. It's, it was very difficult. But I heard you guys are really very good in, what do you call it? <laughs> I'll take bookkeeping. <laughs> no, you know why I'm laughing. I'm just realizing that today is what. Okay, we are into January. I don't want to say the date, just you know, in case I don't know when we will publish this. But we are into January. We are in January. I haven't started bookkeeping for January, but yes, I'm the one who is responsible for like all the sales entries that we do. I do it in Excel, like the normal Excel. So, and then of course now later on, that's like my, my, my master sheet. Mm-hmm. So if I need any particular information, of course I use the pivot, mm-hmm. like pivot table and stuff. And I'm kind of pretty You're good in Excel. In Excel. I'm, I'm pretty good. Actually, and then I can easily check. Okay. Ah, how many liters of oil? Okay. This, this, ah, this top seller, this, this, that. Okay. This is where we at. 
So that's what I do. So I'm thinking maybe despite you carrying cash or you having a bank transfer, have somewhere, maybe an Excel where you put all the money that you make. The entries and... Just enter everything. And then at the end of the week or month, you see. And then you also enter your your your, your clients' names. So that maybe one day you'll be like, if someone reaches 10 haircuts or 20, I will give them a free haircut. You know, but then now you can't keep it in your head because that's difficult or you can't keep that in the bank it's account yeah, yeah, you know it's, it's just difficult. so maybe that's another way of oh. you know keep keeping a, a client i don't know See? oh my god well, how did you even <laughs> divert to that side <laughs> no but it's, it's it's actually a good thing because i i, I struggled with the bookkeeping part of it mm. yeah, to a point that i was looking for a helper Oh, <laughs> no, I can charge you a fee. One <laughs> percent is fine. <laughs> and I will charge one person. One person is no fee. You but don't know the numbers, right? I don't know the number. I think 10 percent. 10 percent is not tides. bad. I already so paid tithes. So pay tides. your tithes, exactly. And you, you go with 80 percent, Tafara. <laughs> Fuel and stuff like that. One percent odd. No, guys. Imagine he's making hundred dollars. So mm. that means I get one dollar for just typing in numbers. I'll type in numbers. I'll mm. give you a summary every week or every month. Like this is what you did. This is blah blah blah. Mm. This is the, you know. I think once you, once we agree on okay, you want we can negotiate the numbers later, or hmm. maybe at least the lessons first, because I, I really I really need. To be honest. Yeah. I mm. feel for me, that's like another step to take your business to yeah. a serious level. Whether you're making the money that you want or not, it's better. Even if you're making, not, if you're not making the money you want, you can see your losses and see how you can bridge the gap. At least for you, it's a service industry. For us, it's a different it's a case project. altogether. Exactly. You have rent, you have salary, you have this. So, you know, it's, it's just uh, another... Yeah, but Headache. the principles maybe I think there's a where they merge, right? Correct. But one one thing that I wanted to ask you. <laughs> let's say <laughs> Yeah. I I won't be specific about it. Well, all right. But let's say you have a client, right? Mm -hmm. You did the service and stuff like that. And then they'll say, Ah, okay, well what? Okay. For for me, I, I, I think maybe it's a personal thing. I struggle with those things that we call like follow-ups, like how far if you send the money or I struggle with those. Mm. I don't know. Is there a professional way you can do it? Or okay. So like me, uh, Tafar, this platform, right? Like my platforms and, and, and stuff. And I have a red card, by the way, that if you coming here, you are my person. So, you know, you will pay to sit in that seat. And then I interview, because maybe you're promoting your yeah, business. Yeah, maybe, yeah, exactly. you know, you get clients mm. after that. And for me, before we do anything, or even if you want me to, whatever, I don't want to get into details. I have a red card that, that you sent. I send like a contract. You have to sign it. And then you have to pay 50% upfront. And then later, if you can't, no then, bad feelings. You know, because it takes time. It's business, right? Yeah, it's business. But for your case now, it's a different case. But I think you should be bold enough to say, hey, uh, okay, I'm done. Uh, or, or before you even go. So you'll be paying by cash or by card so that I bring change or here's my account number. You can transfer prior. And so that by the time you go to their house, they already know. Because remember, by the way, he is not doing it in a barber shop. It's like... Uh, to, to do, in, you yeah, see, at your place, at your place, in the comfort of your home. That's already another expense, you know. So I think you really have to like, hey, after you cut, oh, okay. So are you gonna do cash or transfer? If they say transfer, great. This is my account number. You can transfer. Yeah, and and also I think it it removes the room for people because I feel like sometimes people genuinely forget. Some they can genuinely forget. They need reminders. So, okay, uh, if you transfer the money, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I guess that, that that works. Just being, you know, yeah, I, assertive may, about it. Yeah, may, or maybe next time you can carry me another ten percent, and I'll be hey. like, please, we need our payments. <laughs> this uh, it end is of what the it year, is. Yeah, I'll be calculating. Hey, <laughs> just ten percent profit. <laughs> 
by the end of no the more money wait, for girlfriends. <laughs> by the end of the day, I'll be a co-owner of the exactly. company. Exactly. <laughs> you now. <laughs> now, by the way, the name is Cats and Glam. So okay. it will be perfect cuts and glam. Ex- you see, you see, this works perfectly might, for I us. I might actually want to. No, I'm name. trademarking my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. but actually, that, that sounds nice. Okay. Mm, awesome. I think I have a couple of questions that I'd written here. And I think maybe we've already spoken um, about some topics already. Uh, so, yeah, of course, I wanted to ask you about the marketing strategies that you use, of which you said you, you have what? Mainly it's word, of mouth. word of mouth groups, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I recently wanted to get into, I, I, I've tried uh, Facebook, like those groups, mm-hmm. Zimbabweans in Dubai, yeah. but obviously I don't want to be limited to only Zimbabweans in maybe any African person that didn't come. Correct. Sometimes you can get an opportunity of yeah, Steve Harvey can come to Dubai Correct. and, you know, can give you 20,000 yeah, 20, says my man. Let's go to America. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then when you see you post on Instagram, hashtag you can't sit with you me. You can't, yeah. <laughs> First class. <laughs> oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, what are you working on now? Like, what are you planning on doing in terms of elevating your business here in the diaspora? Um, yeah, first of all, I, I wanted to increase the marketing, right? Like, as I said, something that I uh, really need to start doing. But also make sure, because I've been thinking about the availability. My availability has not been to the best, you know. Sometimes people will say, so this has planted the ideas of quitting my job. I won't lie to you. Sometimes I think about it. Okay, if I'm making this much and stuff like that, mm-hmm. I can quit to full time and then, you know, be available for people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also my Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Wanted to start posting on that. So like like semi-professional, like your setup here. This is, is a professional, by the way, but I want to do some small scale of this one. Yeah, the way you take quality videos so that because I feel like this is more of a, you know, people see because I've, I've had clients who, who call me. Can I? OK, I heard you cut hair. OK, do you have a page? Mm. I do. But then when I check my page, I see the quality of videos and that it's not really. And you know what? Like when you're saying that, I just hit an idea like also, you know, um, trying to reach out to high profile people and offer your free service. Like, these are my videos. This is what I do. I'm not going to mess up your hair, but I want to give you a free gay card. Mm. You know? So they're going to tag you. Like high profile people. Like, I don't know, like all these celebrities, Mm. you know? Yeah. Like, if you talk to Bruce Nice, I don't know why. Like, you know, even like some politicians, they come for holiday here. Two weeks, three weeks, they're here. You know? So things like that, you think they'll give you the normal rate? No, they'll give you more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you want to work on the marketing. You quitting your job for for your passion. It can work sometimes, but I think you just need to like really have a lot of uh, investment, not savings, mm. and really do your. <laughs> it's a gray area. Yes. It needs strategy. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, is there anything that we haven't spoken about? A lot that is coming in the next episodes. Right. Where, where you know the other side of uh, Tafara, which is not that too serious, like, uh, you know, business minded, uh, this and that. So uh, you say, where, where can people find you? Uh, my page is Cut and Glam DXB on IG. And then I think you... Put somewhere my number somewhere here, right? My WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp <laughs> <laughs> for the ladies. <laughs> no, for business. But maybe, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll put your. We we'll definitely put your 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 uh, IG in the description. So just click the link there, and then we'll definitely put his WhatsApp as well. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned and check that. So thank you so much, Tafara, for sharing your journey, your amazing story. I hope it encourages. Uh, 
you know, people to start a side hustle. It doesn't matter if you are in UAE, you are in Zimbabwe, you are in UK, in US, start something on the side because I feel like nine to five salary is never enough. And I think it's just better to also have that side income. Yeah, you need something to just, you know, balance you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on Thank the show. I me. hope to see you again and we sit and we reflect on the business. Yeah, that's true. At some point, uh, right? Yeah, I'll come for lessons and everything. Uh, not lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.